Hey Broncos, it's Mrs. W and welcome to the last day of Abilities Awareness Week. I'm wearing my Hold On To Your Uniqueness shirt, um, one of our other shirts for um, Autism and Abilities Awareness Week at Bay this week. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed learning about different abilities and disabilities this week and I really have enjoyed getting a lot of information from you about what you're good at and what your challenges are. Um, this is the last read aloud video of the week. This also has news you can use, but the rest of the videos, I put information about them down in the description so that you can find them if you weren't able to access them since this is the last part of the book. Um, I'll be reading Just Ask by Sonia Sotomayor and telling you a little bit about the author as well as discussing some of the disabilities that are in this book. Um, I hope that this week, you were able to think about what it means to be a person who's inclusive. And that word inclusive means that we are making sure that everyone in our community is included in the things we do and in how we think about the world. And it's very important. So hopefully you got a chance to watch Miss Lindsay's video. That was great. And our staff video. All of these are linked on the YouTube channel. So you can go check them out uh, next week. All right, you guys, it's really important. Next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Don't forget to appreciate your teachers. Our amazing PTA will be sending out some information about how we can support teachers this week. Um, this has been a change for them, just like it's been a change for you and your family. It's been a change for our teachers, and they really have done an amazing job of stepping up to make sure that all of our students are supported. So I really want us to appreciate them this week. Also, Monday, there's an ELAC meeting at 9 a.m., uh, Ms. Leonardo has sent out information about that. And if you'd like to attend and you haven't received information, email me. I'm happy to help you. We have assemblies next Friday. So that's great. Um, and we continue with distance learning. Please, some of you have reached out with questions or comments or just to say hi. Continue to do that. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. So I'm going to continue the read aloud. Just Ask by Sonia Sotomayor. And for those of you who weren't able to listen to the other parts of the Read Aloud, you should go back on YouTube um, and listen to the rest of the book. This is just the end. Let's meet Grace. I love to sing and I love to talk. I love to make new friends and be included. There's that word, included. I am Grace. I was born with Down syndrome. Kids like me with Down syndrome have an extra building block called a chromosome in our bodies. But we are all different from each other too. I can do almost anything any other kid can do, though learning to th new things can take some time. One way I learn is to ask questions. What helps you learn? It's me, Sonia again. I ask questions too. When something seems different or new, I just ask my parents or my teachers and they help me to understand, especially if my friends don't feel ready to explain. This is what I've learned. Imagine if all the plants in this garden were exactly the same. Like what if we could only grow peas? That would mean no strawberries or cucumbers or carrots. That might also mean no trees or roses or sunflowers. Just like in our garden, all the ways we are different make our neighborhood, our whole world really, more interesting and fun. And just like all of these plants, each of us has unique powers to share with the world and make it more interesting and richer. What will you do with your power? So look, this is all the kids from the book. They're in the garden. And they're all different, but together they make up a community. Just like at Bay, all together we make up a community. So that's the end of the book by Sonia Sotomayor. But I wanted to read something to you. If you remember the beginning of the book, uh, we met a girl named Sonia with diabetes. And that person is based on the person who wrote the book. But I want to tell you a little bit about the author. Sonia Sotomayor was born in the Bronx, New York. She earned a BA from Princeton University and a JD from Yale Law School. She served as assistant district attorney in New York County and then as a litigator at Pavia and Harcourt. In 1991, President George H.W. Bush nominated her to the U.S. District Court, Southern District of New York. In 1997, President William Jefferson Clinton nominated her to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. President Barack Obama nominated her as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States on May 26, 2009, and she assumed this role August 8, 2009. So Sonia Sotomayor 
is a Supreme Court justice for the United States of America. That's a big, important job. She became the first Latina to ever hold such a high position. So Sonia Sotomayor is a children's author, and she's even more. She has a disability, and she's a Supreme Court justice. Everyone has superpowers. So Broncos, I want you to remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And today and every day, it's great to be a Bronco. I miss you. I love you. And I'll see you next week. Bye, Broncos.